will see from the things I've talked about that you are the power of one. You can choose to make a difference, whether it's working on a project, whether it's coming, coming up with a new idea, whether it's uh, helping a, a child with a, a heart problem, whether it's helping drill a water well, whether it's supporting Hazard and her work that she does in Mexico, going with her, getting supplies for her, whatever. I just want to share with you like one of the most profound experiences I've had in my learning career to date. As uh, Brian mentioned, I've traveled around the world working on rotary projects now for several years. But this one has to be the icing on the cake for me. I was at, a, at an eye surgery medical mission and it stopped in Mexico. And I just kind of got there by accident really because I was speaking at a conference and this was the week prior and so I was invited to participate. There were rotary volunteers, there was two surgeons, four operating room nurses, and the remaining team of 12 were gophers like me. People who ran the sterilization equipment, people who was crowd control and registration. The hospital donated the facilities, but they didn't have anything. They had one stool to help people get up on their gurneys. And we had to run and find it every morning when we came back. And there was a Rotary Foundation matching grant to pay for the medications and the supplies. The grant was for $10,000. And for $10,000, we gave 84 people eyesight. My friends, that's just 10 Paul Harris fellows. But even more profound than those 84 people were the 500 that were in line. And the doctors had to screen them down to 100 because they figured they could do 100 in the time they had during that week. So one of the criteria was that the people had to be totally blind. And they got it down to the 100, and then as these people came in, there were 16 who were rejected because of health concerns, blood disorders, and, and the doctor's felt was too risky. So in the end, only 84 could be helped. And I remember this lady coming in for the surgery. And can you imagine being in a foreign country where you have a stranger who's your doctor? He doesn't even speak your language. Can you imagine the, the, the feeling you would have just having eye surgery in your hometown with your local doctor? let alone being 85 and, and having this take place with a doctor you've never met who doesn't speak your language. So I escorted this lady through her registration. That particular day I was the one who helped her on the gurney and I actually wheeled her into the operating room and I stood by her side for an hour and a half while she had the surgery. The next day they were to come back and have the bandages taken off to be checked to make sure everything went well. I happened to be in the examination area when I saw this same lady come in and we had built up a little bit of a uh, bond. So I stayed while she was seen by the doctor. And I have to tell you, for $132, you, as a Rotarian, gave this lady eyesight. But no amount of money will ever pay to buy the feeling I had when I saw those bandages come off and she saw her three grandchildren for the first time in her life. Thank you so much.